Hey guys, Lewis here, and in today's video, I'm going to review Meta's front-end developer professional certificate on Coursera. Now, Meta actually has a bunch of certificate programs that uh, you can see here, a lot of them pertaining to software development. So you have the front-end developer certificate, which is the most popular. Then you have back-end, database engineer, Android developer, React Native, and a bunch of other stuff. But we're going to take a look at the front-end developer professional certificate. And specifically what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to answer multiple questions, namely how long does it actually take? Uh, does it live up to the hype? Is it actually worth it compared to other uh, you know, certificates online, other uh, training programs? What are your chances of getting a job, getting a, a front-end developer job at the end of the program? And what is the cost of the entire program? So the first thing I'm gonna cover is the cost and how long it actually takes. So, uh, Actually, as far as the cost goes, you'll see that for you know the uh, Meta's professional certificate programs, doesn't matter the program, they're a part of Coursera Plus. And if I click on learn more here, you'll see that Coursera Plus is like the uh, subscription for Coursera where you get access to a bunch of courses. And uh, you know the programs, Meta's certificate programs are part of this you know Coursera Plus plan. And it's $59 per month and um, as far as how many months it's gonna take for the front-end developer uh, certificate programs, it says here seven months at six hours a week, but in my experience and seeing other people actually complete the program, it's going to take less than that. Coursera or Meta, I don't know, they tend to sort of overestimate the duration that, that it takes to complete those programs, and so most people actually finish those programs in four to five months. So let's say, you know, five months, five months at $59 uh, uh, per month, it's going to be $295 uh, for the entire program. So $295 for about five months on average. Now, I'm going to make sure to include a link in the description box of this video. You can click it if you want. I'm going to make sure to uh, include, uh, that link is going to link to uh, Coursera. I'm going to put, you know, like any kind of discounts that I can find on Coursera. Uh, because you know sometimes it's discounted and stuff like that. So click the link in the description if you want to find out uh, like the best price for that professional certificate. All right, now I want to talk about uh, just answer the question of like, is it worth it? Is it better than other you know online certificates? Does it actually live up to the hype? People have been talking about this certificate program mainly because it's you know Meta is behind it, but is it actually worth it? Well, um, first of all, I just want to mention here that this course, it says front-end development, but it should really say front-end React developer, because if you take a look at it here, uh, oh, sorry, um, I'm still on this page here, the syllabus, it's really centered on, you know, React front-end development, which is a good thing, because if you take a look at Google Trend, React you know, compared to other front-end development frameworks, like the most popular ones, so React, Angular, and Vue.js, React still comes up on top, like by far. And in most uh, countries, like uh, I know that most of you guys are from the US or Europe, uh, you know, uh, React is still by far the most uh, popular framework, you know, so that's all, all the countries in blue here that's where react is actually pretty dominant there are a few countries where you know there's some uh, other frameworks like Vue.js that is uh, more popular like china i'm guessing because you know angular and react are part of meta in google and so there is a ban on those on those uh, companies in china i'm guessing that's what it is uh, but yeah for the most part react is pretty dominant and so you're not going to find uh, any not going to encounter any issues as far as like uh, getting a job as a React front-end developer. This is really a good choice. There's no problem with that. Now, the reason why Meta actually created this this program, and by the way, all of the, uh, the professional certificate programs, is that actually they, um, they talk about it here, but uh, they don't find enough developers for them to hire, like for Meta, like working at Facebook. There's also the question of like the problem of saying that you know college is not actually preparing 
um, you know, computer science students well enough for developer jobs. And that sort of aligns with my own experience with, you know, the fact that I have a master's degree in computer science, but if I hadn't actually taken an online uh, training, like certification, you know, at my first job, it would have been quite a, quite a shock. So, you know, we're taught a bunch of very general sort of knowledge, you know, programming stuff in, in college. But those programs here, those professional certificates are going to teach you exactly what you need for that particular position. And here the position that we're talking about is a React front-end developer position. You're going to get at, you know, to your first job and there's going to be no, no big surprises. Uh, actually, there's a developer in my company who got a job in my company uh, using a six-month uh, software development certificate. Uh, so he did the certificate, he did the projects, and he got a job at my company. You know, he has no degree in computer science, and he can actually get the job done. So those certificate programs are pretty valuable. Um, another reason why th this certificate, I think it's really worth it, is that, you know, just like most of the online certificates, it's actually 100% online and self-paced. So you can do... You know, you can do it at your own pace. You can then have that certificate and share it on LinkedIn. Uh, actually, some recruiters try to find people uh, using those certificates. So, like, if you're in a specific area and, and you have that certificate, some recruiters may try to find you using, uh, you know, the, the, the that certificate's uh, name. Now, I want to compare this to sort of in-person boot camps. Um, so, App Academy, for example, is an in-person boot camp, which is quite, uh, quite, quite, you know, well known. And you know, typically, if you're considering an in-person boot camp, when, you know, uh, compared with Meta's professional certificate programs, here with in-person boot camps, it's going to be about six to eighteen months of at least part-time attendance, if not full-time. Uh, it's going to be at least 10k, if not more. Uh, this here is probably going to be 20k to 30k. And even if you're not paying that money up front, once you get a job as a developer, there is an income share agreement, an ISA, which means that you're going to have to pay some percentage of your of your income as a developer to the bootcamp company, and that's quite a significant amount. Of, of money here. So you're looking at overall 20K, 30K. Compare this with, you know, Coursera, the meta uh, certificates, there's no income share agreement. It's just $295 if you complete it in five months. You know, worst case scenario, you, you uh, actually complete that in, in what? 10 months and it's going to be $590. So it is a bit of money, but it's nothing compared to the 20K th or 30 that you would spend on an in-person boot camp. Uh, now, in addition, if you compare, you know, that professional certificate to, say, college, for example, the knowledge that you're going to get in those certificates is much more targeted. There's no like generalities and, you know, math and stuff like that and general computer science. It's all going to be very applicable to, you know, the like being a React front end developer. I'm just going to read off the syllabus very, very quickly so you get an idea of what is included. So there is the introduction to front end development, which is, you know, HTML and CSS, programming with JavaScript, which is the main language that you're going to be using, version control, which is Git and GitHub, HTML and CSS in depth, React basics, advanced React, and principles of UX and UI design, front end developer capstone, which is uh, the, uh, a project, and coding interview preparation, which is going to help you to. Uh, you know, succeed in your job interviews. Uh, keep in mind that that whole syllabus was designed by Meta staff. You know that the staff that actually work as software developers as Meta, so they know what's valuable. And uh, some of those people probably help with the hiring, which means that the the knowledge that you have here is probably what they test on when they do job interviews. Uh, and overall, you know, with those uh, certificate programs, with the front end developer uh, certificate programs in particular, you know, people are very satisfied. You know, uh, 13,000 plus reviews, 4.7 stars. And, you know, on Coursera, you know, maybe you, you see that and you think, well, maybe it's fake. Maybe they sort of adjust the ratings. 
Coursera is independent from Meta. So there are lots of courses on Coursera and if a course actually gets bad reviews, it's actually it's actually going to show. So this is not fake. This is for real. People are really satisfied with the program. Okay, now I want to talk about your uh, chances of getting a getting a job and what kind of salary you should be expecting. Um, you know, at the end. So, as far as your chances, I have this page here from the U.S. Uh, Bureau uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, and you can see that uh, software developers it's one of the highest, uh, one of the fastest growing occupations uh, in the United States. And the median salary in 2022 was pretty high, 127k plus. Uh, you know for uh, software developers so it's it's really really high now uh, we're also going to take a look at another website which is indeed they have a lot of statistics about you know salaries uh, what you can expect as a software developer and specifically as a front-end developer the the average base salary so th this doesn't even take into account you know like perks and and stuff like that is going to be a hundred and twelve K per year and you have the bonus you have maybe you know 401k and uh, a bunch of other stuff that is included so even if you don't get like the best developer job right it's still going to be pretty high being a software developer is, uh, can be pretty uh, lucrative and you know as far as like your chances of getting a front-end developer job with that certificate my experience is that you know obviously if you get a certificate you know some companies are they're not going to value this as much maybe as a college education because they're more used to uh, to that but you know they're going to see the certificate they're going to see the projects that you completed during the certificate programs and they're going to be like well okay maybe this is this is not bad at all and you know every single company that i've worked at up until now they've always had issues with hiring developers so when they see your portfolio they see you have the certificate they're gonna give you a shot. They're at least going to give you a shot. Now, it's a different story if we're talking about you know you applying to Apple or or uh, I don't know Microsoft or stuff like that. Much more competitive. But the average company in your you know local area is going to give you a shot if you complete the program and you show them the projects that you've that you've done. And uh, so there's no doubt about this. In addition to this, you know most certificate programs online they actually sort of leave out uh, the job hunting part but with the meta uh, uh, professional certificate program you will actually get access to a job board from meta where people actually do get hired uh, by meta but it, you know it's still complicated I want I don't want to make it sound like it's a simple thing and there are 200 plus companies that actually hire from this uh you know job board uh they've committed to actually hiring you know this professional uh, certificates uh uh graduates so um and uh, last thing i want to touch on i've al already shown you but i want to emphasize this uh when you're when you when you when you go job hunting for a software development job you're going to have a coding interview with like algorithm questions and so on and this is covered in the professional certificate at the end coding interview preparation so you're not on your own so that's pretty much it so my verdict for the uh, front end developer professional certificate from meta on coursera is that it's a pretty cheap way to get a developer job the thing is it's going to be uh you know big time investment uh it is but if you manage to finish it then it's definitely going to be worth it compared to a college education or an in-person boot camp uh, once again i have a link in the description with the best price that i could find for this professional certificate so make sure to click the link uh, also, if you want to find uh, some, you know, alternatives to this professional certificate, I actually did a review on Educative.io, which I find is is pretty good. It's like text-based, uh, um, a text-based like program. You also have like a um, front-end developer uh, scale path. So take a look at that, and I'll see you in my next video.